Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. Today, uh, OnePlus has announced the OnePlus 6 open beta for Android 9 Pi. Um, so this is running. Uh, this isn't running right now. We're about to install it, but we'll be running Android 9 Pi with the open beta. Uh, excuse me, I do have a little bit of a cold, so sorry about that. Um, bear with me throughout the video. Um, so we're going to pop into the XDA thread real quick and go to the OnePlus 6 forum. Um, and get the download link and I'm going to show you guys how to install this. I will have this link down in the description so you guys don't have to go searching for it and you guys can download it from there. Let's see if this comes up. Let's see, they also posted it on Twitter so we will go here and we're going to go to the forum on OnePlus's website um, so this is the open beta, um, so this is, oh, I'm pretty sure it's running the full release of Android 9 Pi, and then the beta is just for the Oxygen OS software over top of that. Uh, I may be wrong there. We're upgrading from stable, um, the stable official version, to the Android P beta. So we're going to click here, and it's going to download that. Um, and then once it downloads, I'll come back and I'll show you guys what you need to do after that to get it installed. Okay, so that is almost done installing. So once that completes, we're going to go into the settings. And we're going to go to the bottom. And we're going to go to system updates. We're going to click the little gear icon on the top and click local upgrade. And actually we need to go back to Chrome real quick. Go to downloads. Let's see, we need to move this from Chrome. So we have to go into the file app or the downloads app and we need to move it to a different, let's see, okay one sec, let me move that file over to the um, phone so it will detect it for the upgrade and then I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so all I had to do is go into the files app and copy uh, the downloaded file from the download folder and paste it into the internal storage folder. So now we're back where I was before. Um, we're under the gear icon. We're going to click local upgrade. There's our file right there. We're going to tap that. And we're going to tap install now. We're going to let it do its thing and reboot. And once it's uh, done with that, I'll come back and we'll be on Android 9 Pi. All right, so that was a successful install. It doesn't require a data wipe going from the stable version to the beta um, if you're going to the public beta. So here we do have all the Android P stuff. We have your Android P uh, shade here with all your Android P buttons. The colors are customizable in the settings so you can pretty much choose whatever color you want now. Um, we also have the Android P style um, button right here. You can customize that so if we hop into settings here and we go to buttons and gestures you can have your regular you know back home and recent button you can do the back and home, which gives you the Android 9 style uh, button, the little pill looking one, or you can do the navigation gestures, which takes those off completely, and you just swipe up to go home. Now you can still do that, um, you know, like you can change that if you want to. I prefer the Android P ones because you can swipe back um, to different apps and stuff like that, which I find pretty cool. Um, so I do find those pretty useful. I like those that that's implemented in the first beta. Um, everything else is pretty much the same as we've seen it throughout the other betas. A couple of changes on where some settings are, um, stuff like that in Oxygen OS. But everything's been pretty much the same um, since the last few developer preview betas of Android P. Um, the OnePlus runs very well on Android 9, very smooth. Everything is very fluent and uh, no stuttering or anything like that. This is just a video of my first impressions and installing it and everything like that. I will do another video. Um, reviewing some stuff on it and showing you guys around after I play with a little, play with it a little bit more. Um, so that's how you install it. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Like I said, all you have to do is download it, go into the Files app. Um, so if you just search Files, it's going to be the File Manager app. Um, and in Storage here, under your Downloads, you'll need to copy this one. Um, so just tap that, tap Copy and then I just moved it back, I just pasted it into the internal storage folder um, so it's right there and then once you go back to your settings your system and your system updates you can click the little pill right here when you click local upgrade it will recognize that file 
as something you want to upgrade to and that's how you install it. After that, it'll do everything by itself, it'll reboot and then boom, you're back in and you're on Android 9 uh, Pi. This has been Colin with Tech Out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and have a great day.